Hi there, welcome to the malware. I'm Matt and I've got a crazy story for you uh, about one of the one of the highlights of the music industry. So let's uh, let's dive right into it, shall we? We're losing our Abbey Road. Famed LA music studio United Recording lays off staff. Let's get into it. Gotta love some of these old pictures. Gotta love some of these old pictures. Green Day's multi-platinum album, American Idiot, was once just an idea floating around within the walls of Hollywood's United Recording Studio, then known as Ocean Way Recording. Were it not for a sharp-eyed technician, the album might have disintegrated in that same room amid a blaze of infamy. There was a piece of wire that was exposed on an extension cord, and on day one we almost burned the building down, said Rob Cavallo, who produced the 2004 album alongside the band. Our drum tech said, Oh my god, fire, fire! We went running in there and from our lunch and caught it just in time. The album lived on. Okay, they talk about they talk about Green Day for a little while. Yay, Green Day did a thing for a while. Uh yeah, the studios of United Recording have shaped many essential releases, releases across multiple generations of music, from Ray Charles' landmark modern sounds in country and western music to Beck's Grammy-winning Sea Change, to Jay-Z's 444, to name only a few. Uh, so I used to, well, I still work in the audio industry, and I happened to work at United while 444 was being made. More recently, Kendrick Lamar rented Studio A for eight months while creating Mr. Morale and the, I'm not sure, and the Big Steppers, while Paramore later recorded much of This Is Why, released last month in that same room, Studio A. That's not even the better room, by the way. Uh, audio Engineering Society went as far as to name United Recording one of the seven audio wonders of the world on the same tier as Abbey Road and Capitol. But the future of this marveled studio is now in jeopardy. Hey, this it used to be around since 1960. It was Frank Sinatra's studio back in the day uh, when he first moved out to L.A. And... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's evolved a lot over the time, but it did not evolve the right direction. Check this out. The future of this marveled studio is now in jeopardy. Earlier this month, its owners announced that it would cease day-to-day -day operations on April 3rd and would instead rent out the studio for film shoots and special events. They made this big post on Instagram, basically saying, hey, uh, uh, we're making some changes. And uh, staff has been notified, and current uh, current people, current clients have been notified as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and a buddy of mine, one of the... Uh, he'd been working there for 30-plus years, off and on. Probably, well, he said, he said since the 80s. Uh, maybe it might have been late 80s, but... He... He was one of these few people... Nearly all of the studio's 16 employees were laid off by Hudson Pacific Properties. It's pretty much all of them, by the way. It might be just the one, uh, <laughs> the one head, the studio manager, that might still be there, from, from what I have heard. But, yeah, this was like early, early March when this announcement happened. The real estate company purchased the building in 2013, and uh, I happened to work there. I started in 2016. Um, a buddy of mine helped me get a job there. Some staffers were asked to help wind things down while the majority were shown the door immediately. And uh, that's, you know, runners. That's uh, a couple of people who'd been there for even longer than I was. And it's, it's unfortunate. Hey, I lost my job when COVID happened and found a different studio to work at, which is, which is fine. It's going great. But a United Recording spokesman told the Times, the LA Times, that the studio would require longer minimum bookings for recording sessions after April 3rd, but declined to provide the new minimum requirement. From what I've heard, it's months. Month out booking. The studio will also require clients to bring their own engineers rather than deploying or employing a dedicated staff of technicians who knew the space best, according to a memo. United Recording is one of the entertainment industry's most storied and celebrated recording studios, 
and the changes we have made will keep that heritage intact by strengthening the studio's financial position while ensuring our clients had the best possible experience, the spokesperson said. Multiple employees and producers, however, called the proposed plan a joke after the studio laid off all but one employee. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty sure exactly who that person is. <laughs> you talk to anyone, you talk to anyone, and this is not a smart plan. Uh, it might bring your cost of running the place down, but as far as I knew, the owner, the CEO of HPP, basically liked the studio because it looked cool. And that's it. It's like his, his uh, he gets to just go and chill out there, just hang out if he wants. I mean, he didn't really, and, and this is at uh, Sunset Gower Studios. Um... It's literally those are the crossroads in LA. Uh, those, that big entire film lot is uh, that's all owned by Hudson Pacific Properties, and their CEO had a, a um, an employee. Well, I guess her his daughter worked at United for a while as well. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I was going to go with that. I don't think she'd be the one, like, maybe she's the one that's left, but that would be pretty dumb. Um, they only, I can only think of the studio manager currently at the time that this happened, that he might be the only one that makes sense to be working there still. Because uh, he, I think he was a runner when he took over from Oceanway. Uh, you can't just turn off those consoles off and on it and hope everything works this might <laughs> i know exactly who this is this was the tech you can't just turn off it hey buddy you, you just can't turn those consoles off and back on and hope everything works it just seems like pr if it's their actual pan just ill conceived it won't work out dude if you know i'm not even i'm not going to mention them that'd be rude uh several more former employees who likewise requested to remain anonymous due to terms of their severance terms of their severance bemoaned hudson's leadership saying the company frequently sabotaged the studio's music operation by prioritizing more lucrative film shoots and events it's very true even back when i was working there they would do all sorts of these lavish events i remember the first the first thing like one of the first things i was doing there was a party where they got guys with blow torches flaming up the entire area just just ridiculous they're talking about burning a wire no nah, these guys are literally burning flames with blow torches in studio b it was wild it was wild everything was loud it was ridiculous uh, in a move that caused staffers and musicians additional discontent Hudson submitted an application to the LA City Planning Commission to pick up the studio and relocate it. This was being talked about even while I was there, back in 2020, to the interior of the Sunset Gower complex and demolish the original structure in favor of a 15-story building with creative office space and sound stages. This is very, this is still probably going to happen. They submit an application. It's probably, it's probably going to happen. It was approved by the city in October 2020, though construction has yet to begin. And their story just keeps changing, the former engineer said. It's hard to know what will happen to the building. We don't have a ton of faith in them. Yeah, and this will go on. You know, This is Bill Putnam's studio, who founded Universal Recording Corp. back in 1946. It's, it's been around for decades. 50, 60, no, 80 years, 1960, 1959, 57, sorry. Uh, it's basically when Sinatra was leaving sh Chicago, if I remember right, but uh, he, he bought both United and Western, uh, United in 58, or renovated to United in 58, and Western, which is right now East West, directly next to the building, pretty much. And uh, they, I mean, I didn't have to work there at all. That was like, it's owned by their own separate thing. 
Uh, let's see. Is there any more interesting stuff in this? Look, there's Conway, Capital, United. It's, it is because of the people who worked there. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's places like United that uh, really ruin my faith in the industry, to be completely honest. So it's, it's too bad. This is a long-ass article. This is the renovation for the building? Uh, yeah, I don't really see much more here. So, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to update you on that because that's, uh, hey, that's my job. That's what was my, that was what I was doing for four years. I was working there and still in the industry, just at a much better studio. So, talk to you later. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, do all that, and appreciate you.